New pistols from Facts and Firearms coming up. Hey guys, I'm Johnny, and as always, thanks for stopping by. Today, if you feel that I've earned it, go ahead and get yourself subscribed down there. There's a lot of fun stuff coming up this summer. Don't want you to miss any of it. Now, today, I've got a great one for you. It's a pair of Facts and Firearms brand new pistols. They were just released. They're compact 9mm pistols, the FX19, and they come in two different variations. And before you ask, yes, they do take Glock magazines. Now, I'm going to walk you through my experience with these two firearms, and I'm going to tell you how they did at the range. Now, full disclosure, Faxon did not pay me for this review. A big zero dollars changed hands. But back at Indianapolis at the NRA show, they did give me a free t-shirt. So am I a complete sellout? Yeah, kind of. Now, again, these pistols are the same model. They're the FX-19. They are essentially Glock 19s with no actual Glock parts. They're designed from the ground up by Faxon, and they're made in America. There's two variations to the FX-19. Up first is the Patriot. The slide is machined in-house by Faxon and has serrations all the way around, and it's cut for an RMR, or one specific Holosun red dot. I think it looks fantastic. Now, the Patriot has a match-grade stainless steel barrel, and the front sight is fiber optic. The frame is a custom Faxon frame, and it has double undercuts, a full rail, and some doggone serious grip. I think the grip is made be the best part of the FX-19. MSRP at the time of release is $12.99. Now up next is Patriot's big brother. It's the Hellfire. It has all the features of the Patriot plus a bunch more. Now the slide has extensive cuts and it has suppressor height sights and the Faxon match grade barrel is also threaded. So it's completely suppressor ready and it's RMR ready right out of the box. Now the Hellfire has a low profile magwell and it comes with an extended 20 round magazine. At the time of release, MSRP comes in at $14.99. Now, both models use an Overwatch Precision Trigger, and boy, it is a massive upgrade from a Glock Trigger. Medium length uptake, but the weight of the pull is light, and the brake is clean. And boy, this reset is short. Check it out. The Trigger gets a huge, huge thumbs up for me. Now, both pistols accept Glock aftermarket parts, and they come each with one magazine. Now, usually I don't care about how guns are shipped, but holy smokes, Faxon is bringing the heat with these boxes. The pistols come in TSA approved hard cases and the foam is perfect. Now, most boxes that guns come in, they sit unused in a stack right over there, but these boxes really are keepers. I think most folks are really gonna enjoy carrying their new Patriot or Hellfire to the range in these nifty cases. They really are nice. Now, the keyboard warriors are already in the comment section saying these are essentially Glock 19s with unnecessary features. And they'll also say, if you want a Glock, just go buy a Glock. And on some level, I agree with that. It's true. Glocks work just fine, just the way they come. And if that's your thing, go for it. My bedside gun is a plain Jane Glock. But a lot of folks today really do want all the extra features, and it's really expensive to get it done. My personal Glock 19 Gen 5, it came in at 550, and I immediately sent it off for a month to get a $2,000 package added to it. So for guys that don't want to go through the time or the expense of creating a one-off Glock, Faxon has brought to the market a pistol that already has the slide serrations, the textured grip, the massively upgraded trigger, and the list goes on and on. So I think they're hitting the market with what a lot of folks want. Now for carry, I paired the Patriot with this AIWB single clip from Hidden Hybrid Holsters. I'll put a link down below for you to check it out. It fits great. I haven't actually carried it yet, but I do suspect that it's going to feel really similar to carrying anyone yeah, a Glock 19. All right, let's get this out to the range. For this test, I use Blazer Brass What Else and the OEM mags that came with the pistols. Now, there's decades of data on the Glock 19 design, and specific to the FX19, I have a ton of personal experience with the facts and barrels and Blazer ammo, and everyone knows that Overwatch precision triggers are really solid. So, I knew going into this test that the gun is going to be as accurate as this guy is. It's going to do what you tell it to do. Also, Faxon's website says that they have done a massive durability test and the pistols have passed the NATO drop test. Both are good news. So for me, the question was twofold. Would the guns be reliable and how would they feel? Reliability for me was not a problem. I did mag dump after mag dump 
and both pistols worked perfectly. Zero misfeeds, zero misfires, both pistols were accurate and I only had one failure to lock back on empty. And for a new gun, that's not bad. The 1911 style grip angle feels really good and I do like the undercut trigger and the gas pedals on each side, they feel great. This gun really is fun to shoot and it's just easy to get a hold of. Now the Hellfire for me is just plain smooth. I think you can see how it just eats that recoil and I was able to instantly get back on target. Overall my day at the range with these guns went perfectly. I really don't have much to complain about. All around a great experience but a few shortcomings or at least some things to consider. I think the major concern for me is I simply have a lack of data. These guns are new and we need more time for folks to get multi-thousands of rounds downrange. The springs on both guns are stiff and they do need to be worked in. I struggled a little bit personally with the big mag release on each side. I'm not sure if it was because the spring is still stiff or I'm not used to the extended mag release. It sticks out a little bit a little bit difficult for me to get a hold of, I need to practice. I did get some consistent slide bite from both pistols. Not a huge surprise with my big hands. No need to send flowers, I'm fine, thanks for asking. Now finally, I haven't fired the Hellfire suppressed or with subsonic ammo, so more data is needed all the way around. On the bench, the Hellfire was my favorite because I'm a sucker for magwells and suppressor sights and threaded barrels, y'all know me. But after several hundred rounds, I shot the Patriot a little bit better. So which one's my favorite? Well, it's almost a toss up, but maybe for me, the Patriots coming in number one by just a nose. Now up next for me, of course, priority one is getting more rounds through each. I'm gonna be adding an RMR and suppressor to the Hellfire, and I'm gonna be taking a class this fall with the Patriots, so stay tuned. Now, here's my question for you. What do you think? Are you on one side, just leave it stock, Glocks are fine the way they are, or are you on the other side, you're okay with a highly customized Glock pistol? Would love to hear your opinion. Let me know down below, I'll read every one of them. All in all, a great experience with the FX-19s. They ran great, and so far, I'm in. Again, thanks for stopping by. I'm Johnny, and I'm happy. Bam!